Okay, thanks, Justin. I think probably we can start. Uh, okay, so hello, everyone. Uh, thanks a lot for joining the session. Um, today, we wanted to share a bit more about Fedora Mentor Summit, um, how we did this year with the event, um, what things we can improve, and so on. Uh, so I'm Yona. I'm part of the Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion team. And currently, I'm also the DI advisor. Uh, I've been uh, with the team for quite a while now. And um, some of the things that uh, we are super excited uh, this year that we have organized is the Fedora Mentor Summit and also the Fedora Appreciation Week that is still happening. Uh, so if you haven't joined already, uh, would love to see some more contributor stories there or some uh, favorite memories you have with the community. And Akash, do you want to uh, also introduce? Thanks, Yuna. I'm Akash Deepthal. I have been contributing to Fedora Project for around four years now. I started off as a volunteer, but I'm now working in the Red Hat's community platform engineering team. That does not mean I'm not volunteering, of course. I have been behind things like Fedora websites and apps team, and like Yona mentioned, a bunch about mentorship, and that is something that we will be talking about. Over to you, Yona. Thanks. So Fedora Mentor Summit. Uh, this year was the second year that we organized it, actually but uh, it was the first one that uh, we made it to have it in person. Uh, for those of you that uh, don't know about the event, uh, Fedora Mentor Summit started uh, last year as a virtual event, um, as a way that we wanted um, to work a bit more on the mentorship um, culture. Uh, it's not that we haven't done you know, other things uh, regarding this in the community because we have the ambassadors program, we have the join SIG and many other initiatives, uh, but we wanted um, to work a bit more on it since we see it as a very fundamental part uh, of Fedora's culture and um, also connected uh, to the Fedora um, uh, Council objectives that we will uh, also get a bit to it later. Uh, so this year it was the first one uh, that we did in person and it was together with Flock. Uh, so it happened in Cork, Ireland. Uh, and this is the group photo actually of the whole conference uh, that uh, we did. Okay. So when we gathered with the team uh, to work on this year's event, uh, we wanted you know, to check again the goals that we had for the event, why we are doing it and so on. And uh, of course that we uh, had it uh, basically uh, connected with um, uh, Fedora's uh, Council strategy uh, that if you haven't already checked, I would definitely uh, suggest you to check it out. Uh, and is connect, uh, connected to the objective where uh, in uh, Fedora, uh, basically everyone has a mentor and everyone is a mentor. So we wanted to work a bit more um, on uh, basically uh, supporting uh, and fostering the, the mentorship cul uh, culture in our community. And um, not only as a way, you know, to um, to basically uh, have more mentors uh, in Fedora, but more to work also improve ourselves. You know, but of course that we can do both to be hand, uh, hand in hand together, but uh, also when uh, we share uh, the experiences with each other, we can get better on it. And um, as I mentioned also be uh, before, because uh, since it's a very uh, important part of our culture. We wanted, you know, to work a bit more around that. So this was basically the the main goal that we had for the event, and we tried when working uh, on the agenda or finding speakers and so on uh, to have it connected uh, to this goal. So as I mentioned, we had it uh, as part of Flock which was really great because it helped us to get also more people on board that could join and share their uh, experiences. 
uh, we started uh, with uh, with a key uh, with a keynote on the last day of flock uh, to have it uh, to basically to kick off the event and to reflect on mentoring in federal communities. So how we have done um, like previously, how we are doing with it, and what are some of the things that we want to um, focus a bit more. Uh, then we continued with the panel discussion uh, where we had different mentors um, in uh, Fedora community uh, sharing some best practices, um, uh, how basically mentoring has worked for them and uh, especially focus a bit more on uh, mentored projects that are uh, like Google Summer of Code or Outreach and so on, but not only. Uh, we followed with some uh, more hands-on activities as well, uh, focused on uh, DI. Um, these ones were not recorded uh, because it was like more hands-on activities that people could um, could do in person uh, with the with the participants, which helped also to know each other better because you know in this way uh, it helps with uh, collaboration in the community. Uh, then we had the talk from Amy, why you should join a community, uh, basically going a bit more deep on the reasons um, why communities are important, how you can be part of it and uh, why someone should join. And the last one was uh, another uh, interactive activity that we had, the story stitch, which was also another uh, very great way to uh, know a, about each other a bit more and get a bit more closer with the people that we work in the community. Uh, so this was kind of like some overview of the sessions that we decided to have for this year. And um, basically we had eight sessions in total and 11 speakers that uh, could join us about it. And now I will pass it to Akash. Thanks, Fiona. So these are the glimpses of the Fedora Mentor Summit 2023, our first in-person occurrence of this meet, uh, event and second overall occurrence of this event. We definitely plan on having more of that. And this time around, we had not only things about mentorship, but uh, we had people from other communities participate here as well, which includes folks from Rocky Linux, from CentOS Project and Ansible. Um, apart from those, of course, from the Fedora project community. Uh, on the top left side, you see a panel discussion happening with folks from uh, QA team, from Fedora design, from Fedora infrastructure, who have been longtime contributors in the community, sharing their experiences about how mentorship has changed their careers, their lives, and how they would uh, like to you know, promote for certain practices the best practices that they would like to suggest for that. Then the next we see is uh, the diversity, equity, and inclusion workshops around things like unconscious bias, happiness packets. We took our time to actually write some appreciation notes for folks who were there and also for the folks who were not. And it's, I think, a great exercise because sometimes all we need to do is be thankful for all the help that we get. And that in turn makes us want to help others in turn. And finally, we have uh, a talk about joining a community by Amy. And it was an interesting one because sometimes uh, your projects need a community to back it up. And there can be magic that can be brought about when people are with you. Next slide, please. So here are some retrospective observations on the things that worked just fine with this occurrence of Fedora Mentor Summit. As it worked, we would like to continue doing them. So the first is, of course, to organize this as being a satellite event to a major one. We have had troubles with bringing people together in the past. And the best way to make sure that people come together is to make sure that events are organized in a continuous fashion in a group. So this time around, we decided to have it with the Flock to Fedora 2023. And that was a good decision because we had a great participation of folks from across various communities participating here. So we'd definitely like to do something of that kind again. And the next thing is to, of course, have more panel discussions. You can't imagine how important opinions people can have regarding mentorship, and we'd like to hear to every single one of them if we get the chance. So definitely 
more panel discussions with a varied set of people from across communities if we get the chance. And finally, to celebrate more social activities, like I said about the ones that we did for diversity, equity, and inclusion, like happiness packets, discussion about anecdotes for unconscious bias. These things were not recorded, but if you would have been there, you would have understood how important these events were to uh, you know, understand the human nature of contribution as well as the mentorship. The next slide, please. Oh, um, yeah, the previous one, the things that would work. Yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, so these are things that would work down the line if we start doing it. So, of course, to stream more sessions live, we would really like to have as many people as we can on board with our, uh, well, events in the Fedora Mentor Summit. So live streaming definitely seems to be the best choice here for a hybrid participation. Then leading by example, as much as talks and discussions can be a good sub-event, we would like to have things like role plays where people are given a certain case study to enact. And the best way of making it is by faking it to begin with. So if you're not a mentor or a mentee yet, chances are that if you like to act like one to begin with, given the circumstances, you'd love becoming one down the road. And then enabling hybrid participation, just like the first point, not only streaming things from our side, but also taking your inputs from the ones who could not join us in person and you know using them as being the content for our event as well as you know, making them feel like as if they are with us in the room where the event is actually happening. And finally, inviting attendees early. This is a nitpick because we, of course, we try to invite people as early as we can, but as the logistics go, sometimes it's not possible to get things in hand as soon as possible. But we'd like to. We'd like to increase the capacity and we'd like to invite people early so as to make sure that we have not only more participants, as attendees, but more participants as organizers as well. So that is something that we're looking forward to. And then developing on the feedback. In some time from now, we would be uh, reaching out to you folks, especially the ones who participated in the Fedora Mentor Summit 2023, to understand how you felt like participating in an event like this and what would you like to see improve down the road. And we would really like to hear your thoughts about it and improve upon it as we go on. And finally, connecting to other communities. Sure, we did that this time around, but we'd like to do more of that and in a grand scale. So assuming that we have speakers from places like our Preachy or Google Summer of Code, we'd like to hear their thoughts about mentorship. Next slide, please. And finally, here again, this is a nitpick. Um, one of the reasons why I think that we could have gotten more attendees when we uh, organized the Mentor Summit is because we were competing for attendance with other exciting uh, places, other exciting events that I would definitely recommend people going to. But I'm a biased person. I would like people to be in Fedora Mentor Summit. So it might help us to have this a bit before vlog. I don't know, but definitely deciding for some time where we would have most participation, because even if you're not a mentor or a mentee, you'd love to become one and you'd love to be a part of events like this, which is open for everyone, regardless of who you are. Next slide, please. Yeah, but that's all about the retrospect of the current Fedora Mentor Summit, the one that happened in 2023. What about the one that will happen in 2024? So I'm going to let that question be answered by Yona here. So Yona, over to you. Thanks a lot. Uh, and before going to the next year uh, event, I also want to say a big thank you to everyone that helped with the event. Uh, so the organizing team, because I know it, uh, it was like a really big work that uh, we had to go um, through and think about how to, uh, you know, have it in the best way so it could bring some uh, valuable knowledge to everyone, uh, but also to the speakers that could join us because it was um, from the feedback that we heard from one ones when uh, being at Flock, um, it was like really great um, 
experience that they shared, what worked for them and so on, uh, and all the participants. Uh, so hearing, you know, all the, I think the positive feedback that we got also from this year uh, made us think that we should now work on actually Fedora Mentor Summit 2024. Um, we already actually started um, thinking and uh, having the first meetings uh, about it. Uh, when we had the Fedora DI meeting uh, this week, we started talking about uh, that we want to repeat it again. Uh, so uh, we will have uh, another Fedora Mentor Summit next year. Uh, we don't know like specific details when and so on, but of course, uh, you know, based on the feedback that also Akash uh, was mentioning until now, um, yeah, most probably it will be again as part of Flock, so uh, in person and Mexico. Um, and if you would like to help us with it, um, either to become a part of the organizing team uh, or to give us some feedback, what things we can improve, uh, how we can make it even better for next year. Uh, here you have uh, the link uh, of uh, our GitLab uh, issue that uh, we have open about it. Uh, so we would love to hear you know, some feedback and some ideas there. Um, so thanks a lot uh also for for joining and for listening to us uh we will be also checking the chat now in case you have any feedback that you want to give us like directly now but otherwise please do so in the in the link uh that akash can you maybe also uh, paste the link in the chat so we can have it uh, handy yeah for sure and also folks if you have not uh, opened up the poll section we have some mentorship related posts so please feel free to take them it really helps us to understand uh, how we can improve on the current events as well as how we can make the next event better so here's the uh, link to the qr code if you don't have a phone handy or basically you're on a desktop device i think we most of us are on a federal linux device or something And uh, we can also check, I see we have one question actually uh, on the Q&A tab. Did you both have a personal favorite session or part of the Mentor Summit? Uh, that's a good question. It's like personally for me, it's hard to choose, to be honest. Um, because um, like one of the things that we were mentioning uh, now was the, also in the chat was the um, uh, happiness packets, which we also wrote it handy. Um, so maybe I will highlight that uh, and why I liked it uh, also, um, because for me personally, one of the things that why we also organize the, the appreciation week is the gratitude part, uh, which, you know, uh, expressing a bit more um, and saying thank you more to the people that we work so closely. It's very nice. It's a nice way how we can also make their day um, and um, why we also had it as part of the mentor summit, uh, because also having it uh, written, you know, giving to that person. Um, one of the things that I really enjoy, since some of them were also uh, anonymous, so uh, I had the papers and I was giving it to people. So when I gave the paper to the person that uh, it was about, uh, just the smile in their face was like uh, really, really nice. Uh, so there, you know, you see uh, the, the impact of uh, the things that uh, you do and uh, how much it helps someone else also to continue doing a, a great job on the things that they are doing. And also, you know, after Flog, they can also have it, for example, in their working desk and sometime when you are uh, having not a very nice day, maybe you can also, you know, read that and um, it helps bring a bit more positiveness. Um, so maybe I would highlight this part 
um, the the happiness package that uh, session that it was one of the things we had at the mentor summit, but also uh, the the panel discussion. Uh, I would say because it brought so like many uh, different tips um, that um, I think people could use um, in any of the things that they do in their uh, job community or when talking to someone. And what about you, Akash? Thanks, Yona. Um, yeah, so I can provide you with an unbiased perspective on this because mostly I had the boots on the ground operations role in this Mentor Summit. So uh, the happiness packets is sure as hell my favorite one, but I'm gonna talk about a couple more that are closely on the second and third position or probably you know, tying on the second position, but basically story stitch and the unconscious bias discussions. So um, yeah, the story stitch literally help people open up to people that they probably were interacting for the first time in an in-person event. So, um, you know, these stories can be, uh, you know, sharing their vulnerabilities or sharing one of their happiest moments of their lives or about one of those times that they think that they were dealt with a bad hand, but it really helped people connect like it never does, you know, sharing your stories with people about the things that you're thankful for as well as the things that um, you think that could happen better. Um, of course, that happened at the end of the event, so I...